Hey guys, so today I'm going to be setting up what I consider like my version of the world's smallest aquarium. So you've seen kind of like Paul Caffaro do this and King of DIY. Um, King of DIY didn't really make it, but he kind of showed it and he, he kind of considered it what what he what he would consider the world's smallest aquarium like actually functional. Then Paul Caffaro just puts water and rocks and some colorful things in a box and then dumps it out at the end of the video and you guys watch that. So um, I'm actually gonna be setting up with fish. It's like a fish like this big and I caught it. Um, so yeah, I'll explain it as I set it up. I have a fish bowl here and that's what I'll be using. So yeah. Okay, so um, I have some rocks. Obviously the, there's a huge rock in here and I don't think I'm going to be using it because I didn't really realize how big, like I, I went out and collected rocks, so won't be using this rock. Um, basically first I wanna set up, actually I might still use it, we'll see. So first I'm gonna be taking out these rocks. So what I had to set up, this fish was in with my turtles. Um, so I got a few rocks from their thing here and um, I'm going to be using those in the foreground of the aquarium and I'm going to be using them because they already have beneficial bacteria on them. So one thing about this is that my version of filtration for this is two pothos plants. Um, so I have two pothos plants here and I have like two pieces of lava rock. So um, I think that'll be my first plan of action. So first I'm going to take out all these like larger pebbles, which I'm going to try to uh, arrange nicely in the foreground later. And then I'm going to kind of move this gravel up like this as much as I can. Like try to move the gravel up. And then I'm going to put these pothos plants. We'll see. Let's see. So there's one with lots of roots, and then there's one with like less roots. Let's see. Okay, actually, no, yeah. So here's one. Um, smaller and then one's much 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 longer and I think I'm actually gonna no I'll, I'll leave it okay so I'm going to be putting these in this one I'm actually gonna put in later but this one I want to put in now because it's root structure is kind of longer so I'm gonna stick the bottom into there and then I'm gonna stick it out like that. Then I'm gonna be putting the lava rock. So you won't actually see the lava rock. It's actually like for filtration, I guess you could say. And then I'm going to be setting the, the big one right here. And now here's where the big giant rock comes in. I'm gonna try to position these so they stay here because of that rock. So let's see how that works if I can actually do it. So let's see. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, looks like that worked well enough. Um, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around and look at in the back and see how that is real quick. Um, Obviously, this is a huge rock, but I'll only be looking at it from one direction. And I'll only be able to see it from one direction. So, um, basically, it works for me so far. Now, I'm going to be taking one of these rocks, and I'll be positioning it, I think, right about back here, I think. Just so that it's this giant rock isn't the only one that you can see of that kind, I guess you could say. Then, I will be... Um, positioning these smaller ones in the back. So I'll do one bigger of the smaller ones up in front 
and then I'll basically fill in from there anywhere that you can see. So since this is so small, I'm going to be very specific in how the rocks are put in place. Hopefully this is actually interesting. I got lots of views on my uh, plant thing for uh, that I made for my mom. So I was hoping this could be similar in a way. So really it's not even fully, I mean there's so many rocks that it's not even fully um, like as much as one of these should, how many, um, like gallonage, anyway. Okay, so here. Okay, so here's where it will be, right by my iguana's thing, and, um, like my turtle's thing and stuff. It was sitting here before, and I figured, hey, I could put a tiny fish in there. So here's the tiny fish, wherever it is, there it is. Really, really small. So I'm going to temp track, made it, and then I will just um, put it in. As you can see, tiny, tiny fish. So I will do water changes on this. I'm hoping every week, maybe um, once every two weeks. And then it has filtration from the all the different rocks and stuff like that and the uh, plants. And it has lighting from my window, which is behind here. And... Which is nice because you see like this side, so then if, if there's tons of algae on the other side, it doesn't really matter. So, um, yeah, I'd say it has all the necessary things for an aquarium except flowing water. So, again, I'll try to be doing lots of water changes on it, and that's what I'm going to try to do to make up for that. So, uh, yeah, I'll come back and have some more lighting, hopefully. Okay, so it's been a while, and now I'm going to... Uh, scoop the fish out. Yeah, let's try to... Yeah. It's really hard to do. Okay. It's tiny. And now it's in this tiny net. <laughs> this is really hard with only two hands. Okay. So there we go. Now I can put it into... Okay, now the lighting should be a little bit better. Um, so if I haven't already let it out here, let's see. There we go. See, now you see such a tiny fish, even for this size aquarium, I would say it's really, really small. So, um, yeah, it's just down there. I'm sure it will get bigger. I'm not sure. It's a, it's a, um, like a black sh stripe top minnow, something like that, native to North America. And it has these pothos plants growing out the top, which don't look you know, amazing, but like, I put these two extra rocks here, and I put those in the middle, I thought that, thought that looks pretty cool, and then I have this one over here, and then I have some other ones that come from my other aquarium, so, um, yeah, should be pretty cool, again, I'll do lots of water changes, and the rock is like ginormous, but, yeah, there's the gravel, the rock, the different kinds of stuff, should do really well. I think I'm going to name it Timmy because I don't know. I have to, I have a book about, um, uh, fish native to North America. So I'll have to figure out if it's a male or female because I think I, I can tell. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. I will see you in the next video, hope you enjoyed this one, and have a great day.